guys welcome back to my channel my name is faith blackshear if you're new here today we're gonna be doing a very exciting video i'm literally so stoked for this we're going to be looking back on old photo shoots and stuff in my early modeling days we're gonna be going like oldest to newest so sit back grab some popcorn i feel like it's gonna be a good time make sure to follow me on instagram and tiktok and subscribe if you're new here i do a lot of vlogs and fashion content and modeling content let's get into the video okay so for our first one start off strong this is actually my first ever photo shoot i think this was back in Dang, 2017 so we're definitely oh my gosh okay so i think i was like 16 or 17 in this photo it was actually so my mom went to cosmetology school because she is a braider and this is the time when she was in cosmetology school and they wanted the students to like do a little fashion show and the students were going to be doing the hair so my mom was obviously like hey girl i know you're interested in modeling so come be one of my models and i was like <laughs> absolutely yes i would love to do that i got my hair done obviously this is my mom's work there was also a makeup artist there i don't remember who she was but looking at this photo she did a bomb job like my eyebrows look good so Shout out to her, whoever she was, or he. I absolutely have no idea. I was literally so excited about this. I felt like Zendaya and people were even commenting on this photo when I posted it on Instagram. They were like, oh my gosh, scrolling through my feed and I thought I saw Zendaya. And it just felt so good. Like in this moment, I knew, I was like, Mm, I could do this for a very long time. Like I could see myself doing this, being on set, creating art and being in front of the camera. It was literally so much fun for me. This was a good time. <laughs> also, when I'm look when I was looking back at all this stuff, I was like, dang. Right now, I feel like looking at these photos, I look the exact same. All my bone structure and stuff looks the exact same. But when I was in the moment, I never felt like as beautiful and as confident as I do now. I don't feel like I'm conceited or anything, but I do feel like I have a good level of confidence now. It's just crazy thinking back on how I didn't feel as confident or as beautiful, even though right now when I'm looking at these photos, I look literally the exact same. I hope that I continue to not age very much. <laughs> that would be very nice anyway next oh my gosh okay this is another one this was one of my first photo shoots ever so i went to a modeling school it's out here in arizona i don't know if they're still around but no shade no tea but i would not recommend them so this was one of our this was probably our first photo shoot that we did i think 28 it was either late 2017 or early 2018 when I was there because I remember I did it for my freshman year of college when I was living in Flagstaff, Arizona. So like every weekend or every two weekends, I had to drive down to Scottsdale to go to modeling school and then come right back up, which isn't like the biggest deal ever, but still, it was a trek my hair <laughs> i can't get over this hairstyle i used to think that this was just the cutest hairstyle on me this was before i actually liked my hair like my natural hair so i didn't really know how to do my hair i didn't take time to learn how to do hairstyles that i thought were actually cute on me i kind of just like i didn't really like it anyway so i was just gonna throw it up i oh my gosh these wedges had a chokehold on me. I loved them so much, but I don't like open-toed shoes very much because I don't have like the cutest toes. So I loved the shoes so much, but every time I wore them, I felt like self-conscious about my toes. So <laughs> eventually I got rid of these. I probably got rid of these like last year or two years ago, honestly, like it was recently. The shoes were super cute, 
but I didn't wear them enough because I didn't like my toes. Yeah, and also this jumpsuit that I'm wearing here was my high school graduation jumpsuit. Like I bought it for high school graduation. I didn't really like it that much. It's from Forever 21. We wore it. Moving on. This one was shot by my best friend, Shelby. She was like, a little photographer back in the day once i like mentioned that i was trying to get into modeling or whatever she was like well let's go have some photo shoots around so that you get comfortable in front of the camera it'll be super fun blah blah, blah. so that's what we did these are shot on like an actual camera but we didn't know too much about anything so they're not like the best photos ever but this photo like we were obsessed with this photo because the movement of my hair, which my, I think my hair is super cute here. Like, might go short again. Some short braids, those are really fun. And the sun was hitting my skin right here. This picture just looks like joy. Okay, Maybelline ad. So much fun. We shot this at the Arizona Grand Hotel. That was the first time I had ever been there. Shelby was like, yeah, this hotel is so beautiful. It will be perfect for us to do a little photo shoot at. It was like, yes girl, let's go. Obviously outfit is not the best, but I didn't really have that many clothes. I've always been like a fashionista, but I didn't always have clothes to express it. Oh my gosh, this photo session is back from 2019. So I was probably 19 or 20 here, which is so crazy. I feel like I look, this is one of the photos where I feel like I look really young in. I definitely think I lost a little bit of like baby face fat. This was also the time where I did not know anything about my hair. I did not like my hair. What I would do is just like puff it up or blow it out or something and then put it in this huge poof but I would always like do a little spiral curl in the middle <laughs> with j hair gel. And it's like cute, but this was literally the only hairstyle I did with my natural hair at this time because that was the only thing that I felt okay in, which is sad. It's still cute, but like I still don't really like my hair. So it's been a journey with my hair that's for sure i honestly love how dramatic this photo is if there was a beach waves crashing behind this this would be perfect i feel like the dramaticness of this photo shoot and everything doesn't really match the studio we were in as a composition it just doesn't make any sense at all it's so beautiful so you know? Anyway, moving on. This photo shoot right here, very special photo shoot for me. I met two people, maybe three. So first off, the photographer, Jeff, he goes by Jeff Auto Creative on Instagram and probably TikTok. And then secondly, the makeup artist, Sasha. I think her current Instagram handle is Mayamo Sasha for, or no, 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 it's Baked by Sasha now. That was my first time working with them and it was such a blast. This was my favorite photo sesh for like, probably a year later. I'm pretty sure these photos are still on my website right now on newyorkminute.net. I really like them. It was just so much fun and I was really getting into the industry out here. I also met Rocio this day. She's one of my good friends now. She's also a model. I don't know if this was our first time meeting. My memory is honestly terrible. We might have met before this day, but she was there also. I was just like, really really networking and getting into the modeling industry in arizona at this time so i think this year 2019 slash 2020 i was like meeting a lot of creatives and doing a lot of shooting and just having so much fun modeling and like doing runways and all of this stuff so this was a very fun time in my modeling career i wasn't getting paid for jack squat but i was getting a lot of experience in front of the camera so this is probably like the year that i learned how to do what i do now <laughs> and i suggest that every new model does what i did which is to just network as much as 
humanly possible in the industry. Network with photographers who are willing to shoot you for free because in the beginning, beginning of your career, you don't know how to do anything. Paying a photographer for you to get photos that like don't look that great and won't be great for your portfolio. And it's not that the photographer is doing a bad job, it's that you don't know what you're doing yet. <laughs> So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just look for other creatives who are willing to collaborate with you, especially if you're in an industry like Arizona. There's a million and one creatives out here who are going to be willing to collaborate with you. So just reach out. You're going to get a lot of no's, but you're also going to get a lot of yeses. And that's just the industry. It's okay. Get all the experience that you can in front of the camera. And networking is what's probably gonna get you your first paid gig anyway. So just be yourself and learn some things. Bro, we were so obsessed with this makeup look. This whole shoot just came out so well. I love the dramatic lighting. For where we were all at in our cre careers, this is bomb work, okay? Especially because I didn't know what I was doing and we got some good stuff. So shout out to us. Anyway, let's move on. Oh my gosh. Okay, so these photos right here. I honestly hardly remember this day. I shot with a photographer that I had never like met, hardly knew. I don't even remember his face to this day. I've never seen him again. <laughs> or talk to him again or anything ever again. This shoot was so dope because obviously the red like streams of light or whatever is happening there, so cool. And the styling was really dope too. I think I worked, I don't even remember who styled me at all, which sorry to you, but mm, I can't hold all these memories in this brain. But the styling was super dope. Like this purple coat right here, dude, I would wear this every single day if I could. I want this coat, dude. And I had somebody else do my hair for this. I think I was at AZ Royalty Salon. I think. And she's still out. She's popping. So shout out to her. I have no idea who was on makeup. I think that these eyelashes that I'm wearing are not great, but that's okay. This, oh my gosh. I had so much fun doing this runway. I met so many of my current model friends during this runway. I don't remember what it was called, but we did it outside in a parking lot, I think in Scottsdale or like Phoenix. I didn't even have a good sense of direction back then. So yeah, I really don't even know where we were at, but I have a good sense of direction now. So go me. This was my first time working with Burley, she's a stylist out here. She's honestly so bomb. Like, she has the sickest stuff, sickest style. Love her so much. I think it was one of my first times working with Ryan. He's at High Tier Photo on Instagram. He's a dope photographer. I haven't seen him in a second, but he's usually around at runway shows that I go to. So honestly, yeah, the last time I probably saw him was at a runway, like, the beginning or end of last year shout out to him he's so sick we've done a few shoots together which we'll probably get into in this video what i don't like here though is my mouth like i feel like it's so open i honestly hate my whole pose like my face looks i feel like the posing of my face is great but my mouth is too wide open and what is this why are you doing that on a runway I look bomb regardless. Everything is bomb here, except for my posing at the end of the runway, but that's fine. Oh my gosh. Okay, so these are my first actual digitals. Honestly, they're not too bad. I don't like that my lips look dead. Like I wish I had a gloss on or something. And also, I was working with my blonde hair, which is not marketable. <laughs> 
but it's fine you know you live and you learn this was like my proudest moment back in the day i was signed with priority talent she's still going strong shout out to sierra i love her so much i was so stoked about just being in the modeling world and being signed for the first time ever everyone was so proud of me and i was so proud of me and it was just so much fun i think like the next year i went on to get signed again in LA at the Dragonfly Agency. And that was just a whole adventure in itself. I loved just being able to do all the things. But anyway, moving on. This shoot was so much fun. This is when I met Colleen for the first time. She's smile like Colleen on Instagram. Yeah, it's smile like Colleen. And her stylist page is styled by CQ. We killed this dude oh and it was the first time working with steph and i think she's makeup magician on instagram i'm not sure i'm gonna link literally everybody down below in the description so if you want to check out any of them they're gonna be down there and then this shoot was with jeff again we just wanted to like be super colorful we also threw some cheetah print in here. It was such a fun time. I just remember we were doing my makeup outside and I think that I was melting in some places like for the majority of the shoot because I was sweating. Clearly I'm on monkey bars so we were getting physical but this was a bomb shoot. I loved this shoot so much. Okay, next is this one with Justin. I haven't seen Justin in a hot second, so Justin, if you're seeing this, I hope you're doing well. You're so talented. This was, I don't know if it was our first shoot. I think it was our second shoot. We are in New York here. I was there for Fashion Week and he was also there, I think for Fashion Week, doing some like runway photography. We we're like, let's get some cool content in while we're both out here i just threw some clothes together and we went out and shot i do remember though this day was so windy and i was so pissed about it i remember specifically we were walking like under you know how there's like two buildings and right here and then like probably an archway or something we were walking through and the wind was just like killing us and i was so mad like i was so freaking cold dude i was so cold and it was february so yeah it was not it we got her done and then we went to starbucks after i think oh and this one's another shoot with justin this was when i was like starting to take my blog more seriously i was looking at a lot of scout the city she still inspires me to this day i love Sida silva so much but yeah i was like if i want to ramp up my blog i need some like actual photos how all the other fashion bloggers take their photos so we had this big shoe i think we were in phoenix or gilbert or something or we probably did multiple locations we just like cranked out a lot of content i love these photos still to this day like my outfit's super cute for this shoot he did a really good job and i am so grateful for his help and some photos from this photo shoot are still up on my website to this day, so. This was another one with Ryan at High Tier Photo. I think that I was like trying to branch out into the like Miami Swim Week world or whatever. I shot in a bikini. I would not do bikini work much anymore now. And I feel like all of this is just so confused. Like, why are you wearing that hat? I need you to take that hat off, <laughs> please. And I don't think that the backdrop makes any sense at all. Like the photo is incredible. I like my pose and that I'm on this ladder, but the backdrop makes no sense. And why are you wearing that hat? Please burn that hat. I wore this hat to the ground, dude. I finally got rid of it and I'm so glad that I did because it was just not it. I wore it with everything. Stop wearing that hat. 
Ooh, okay, so this photo session, this was also with Justin again. Honestly, I love this photo. The reds and the blacks and the contrast of everything is bomb. This was another shoot with Justin and he did so well. But this was sometime in 2020, I believe, whenever like COVID and Black Lives Matter and whatever was happening and that was like all anyone was talking about ever. We did this shoot in the middle of the summer. I'm wearing all leather here. We see that, right? Yeah. And we were shooting outside, like before we did this inside diner shoot, we were shooting outside for a hot second. And I almost passed out. <laughs> like, I'm not joking at all. I think I blacked out at some moments while I was standing. It was so freaking hot, well over 100 degrees. I'm wearing all leather. I chose this outfit, so like it's on me. I just remember literally about to pass out. So yeah, we went inside to this really cute diner. I think that the owner was there and he like gave us the milkshake for free. That milkshake was bomb. So I would love a milkshake right now. Oh my gosh, okay, so this was my first shoot with the Mayfair group. This was so much fun. I remember like feeling on top of the world when I got to shoot with them. I also did like a little content for them as well on my Instagram and it was just, this was one of the, my peak moments in my early career. Yeah, shout out to them. I love them so much. Sam and Devin, y'all rock. I don't remember who shot this. It might have been Brynn. I think it was Brynn, actually. She's at Edge Creative on Instagram. And then here's another one, and that was my e-com stuff. I think that Maddie shot these photos, and we were at Modern Manor Studio. So shout out to Maddie. She's so talented. I love her so much. And then here's another one. I think this was my second shoot with the Mayfair group. We were at Block Studio for this one. And this was also my first time meeting Christian. I was so obsessed with these pieces. Like this cream sweater that I'm wearing right here, dude. That is so cute. I was in my blonde era back in these days. I had a lot of fun with blonde. I'm not very into the blonde anymore. I just think that the black my black hair and then the blonde is not a cute look. I just look kind of dirty. You know, she had her moment and she had her moment for a good like two years. So we are past that phase now though. I'm more of a black girly now with like added colors in my hair or just straight up added colors. I think that's more of a vibe. And when I say added colors, I mean like pink and purple. Okay, so this photo shoot, this was one of my first photo shoots where I was getting paid for the work. I got paid for the Mayfair group as well, but this one was like one of my first as well. I honestly don't remember <laughs> who I shot for. We shot in downtown Phoenix. Obviously I live in downtown Phoenix now, but I just had no idea like where we were at or like what downtown Phoenix was about or anything. But this second photo here, there's a photo from this set that's like blown up in the photographer's house currently. That was very cool to hear. Honestly, these photos and the styling are bomb. Oh my gosh, okay, so this, I don't know if this was my first time working with Rachel. This shoe is like an editorial masterpiece. So shout out to Rachel. I'm so honored that you chose me to model for this because I had literally so much fun. She styled it, she shot it, obviously editing everything. She did the makeup for it, or actually no. I did my makeup, but I think she touched it up. If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry, Rachel, but she definitely had a hand in the makeup too. But yeah, this, <laughs> this set is just so bomb. This is creative genius. Mm, 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 mm. I'm eating this up. I want to do this again. Rachel, let's have some more fun like this. This shoot. This was for an eyelash extension woman. She does eyelash extensions and she was trying to like build her brand. 
so she brought in some models everything was cool fine and dandy we also had like a live snake crawling all over us or slithering all over us for this shoot as well my one complaint is that so while i was getting my eyelash extensions put on i was like talking the whole time to the girl they put these pads on your eyes while you're getting your eyelashes done and i couldn't feel it at the time but while i was like talking and laughing and stuff the one pad on my one eye was like jabbing into my eyeball and i had no idea after i know it's like a little bit of redness right after i was like oh okay fine that'll go away whatever no 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 it got so bad my eye just kept getting redder and redder obviously because like i damaged my eyeball a little bit because there was a pad shoving into my eyeball for like an hour or two hours straight while i was getting my extensions done and we had no idea so my eye got so red like over the course of the next few days we did like the eyelashes and then a few days later we did the shoot so on the shoot date my eye was so red and i had to like use these special eye drops from this specific brand to like clear up the redness as much as possible it was not a cute time for my eyeball she was not having it but everything else was fun it was a good time here's where stuff starts getting good this photo shoot like these two photo shoots with Kara Takahashi. She is such a talented artist, dude. She did my makeup and she did the photos. This was like the turning point in my portfolio. These photo sessions where I was doing like beauty and stuff, like these photo sessions ramped up my portfolio. I was like on top of the world working with Kara. Shout out to Kara, you are so talented this session was also with jeff and ronan actually this was a really really fun shoot my stylist was ebony shout out to ebony i love her so much she has such dope style all of her stuff is vintage this concept was everything we shot at this motorcycle shop that was down the street from where i lived at the time in mesa i was like going back and forth with the owner of the shop i was like can we like shoot here on this day blah 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 like can we use your motorcycles and stuff it just turned out so so well this shoe is what i would call symbiosis like we achieved symbiosis here this was such a great time for me you can see my friend malvika here this was at the Mons show in new york during fashion week this was my first industry show ever i was so on top of the world dude when i got the confirmation that i was being invited to this show because this outfit like graced a lot of press coverage people i just remember searching all the street style press whatever is online and like popping up on so many of them because when you go to industry shows obviously there's going to be photographers there from like vogue um all the press all the press <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. I didn't even style myself. My roommate Daryl, he got this outfit for me for my birthday. So we like put it together, together. An otherworldly moment for me in my fashion career. Okay, this photo shoot was a blast. I planned this whole photo shoot with some other creatives and it was a birthday gift to my best friend Rebecca. I did this styling for clothes but i reached out to some brands and like pulled clothes from them for this photo shoot we worked with aubrey shout out to aubrey she's exceptional at what she does oh uh, so good eating it up aubrey shot the digital photos and then daryl was also on location shooting film photos which turned out incredibly on hair we had miss callie love you miss callie and then on makeup we had christina and they just Mm, mm, mm. they ate the girls up this symbiosis like this was so so incredible we ate this we killed this top to bottom this was a very proud moment for me in my modeling career i got booked for romway for their black friday like photo session or whatever it was just a really huge brand who wanted me to model for them and i met some cool people who are shot 
who are in the photos as well. Obviously, I live in Arizona, so we had to drive there. I think call time was like 8 a.m., so yeah, that was a little rough. But the shoot was like nine hours, and we did not book a hotel. So I just remember my dad, he sat outside the studio for nine hours in our car that we drove over in. I could just go on about how much I appreciate my family, but we'll save that for another day so that there's no tears, no crying. But that meant very much to me. So shout out to my dad. And I think I was also broke here. And my sister lent me $200 so that we could make it there. The family always pulls through. I love y'all so much. My mommy. Ooh, y'all, I love y'all. This photo session was with Form Runner. These photos were a marketing material and they actually stayed in the Scottsdale Mall for like a really, really long time. Like I remember there was this huge like mini billboard i guess i don't even know what to call it it just recently got taken down and like switched out to something else i love form runner i love working with them so much they have just the sickest everything so this one is my first magazine photo shoot i did this one with rachel again she did my makeup and we were at block studio this was really really fun it just felt so edgy and cool and i loved it so much i don't do a lot of magazine work because like it's just not really my thing but this was this was really really dope and i felt honored to be doing this and i just love working with rachel so much she's literally so talented in every aspect so this is super special this was signature required's like first photo shoot and i was one of the models and that just feels so so cool i also helped choose the other models as well we worked with bryn for this so she did the photography on it it's just a bittersweet moment to look back on we wanted to like create a zine and it was going to be kind of like a story but it was based around fashion for summer so first off we have like a swimsuit pool look um then which we killed this whole thing top to bottom styling posing photography everything on point we killed it we killed it killed it killed it so shout out <clears throat> shout out jeff every single one of them is a magazine cover worthy every single one of them ate killed it secondly we have like vacation inspired outfit the architecture here obviously giving like european but that was the whole goal third we have another vacation style look the inspo for this one was like kind of miami housewife really just another vacation style look and then lastly we have an it girl look she's city living but she is that girl i love that look so much i loved all of them <laughs> but yeah we killed that this photo shoot is one of my favorites because we were on vacation it was me rebecca jeff and rocio we're in tulum and honestly these photos turned out so bomb i wish we had more time and like everything to shoot because we're on the beach but like we got out of the house really late so the sun was literally setting while we were taking these photos but not in a cute golden hour way it was like it looks like there's a storm coming and we're really cramped on time so it was very stressful but we killed it regardless i love these photos so much and these photos are my lock screen and home screen right now and then lastly we have a shoot that i did with miss micah she's at ryan studio on instagram she is literally so talented like i keep saying this about everybody but i just mm, all y'all are eating the girls up I do have to say this outfit got me the most compliments on an outfit ever i also agree that it was good but it didn't feel like my best work you know what i'm saying anyway that is the last one i had so much fun doing this i definitely want to do this again like a year or two down the line on my youtube again because it was so much fun just looking back and honestly it brought so much inspiration back to my heart. I need to be getting out here and shooting 
and doing a lot more, dude. I feel like I'm falling off my game a little bit, but I'm picking it back up. As you guys can probably see on my TikTok, if you follow me, by the way, follow me on TikTok. I've been trying to get signed again for modeling and I feel it coming. So if you're a model scout or anything, please sign me. I had so much fun and thank you so much for watching and come back next week for another video. Yes! Okay, bye!